Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lions Den with another news and commentary. You know, we have a situation here, ladies and gentlemen. Another unarmed black man murdered by police. It happened in my old hometown where I was born and raised in, Little Rock, Arkansas. A man named Bradley Blackshire, who was, who was 30 years old, uh, police claims that he was, they received a tip of a ever receive a tip of a stolen vehicle and you know officer his, his name is officer starks officer starks um told told him to get out of the car he told him multiple times to get out of the car so you know bradley Black, blackshire refused to get out of the car so he, he was going to take off that's when officer starks opened fire Shot, shot Bradley multiple times, killing him. Now, the female witness in the situation, she was also in the car, but you know what? She's sending mixed messages, and I'm going to talk about that later. But what I will do is I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and let you see. There's going to be th three video cameras, two police dash cameras of the situation, and one surveillance video of, 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 the, I mean, of the actual incident. So, ladies and gentlemen... I'm um, go ahead and play this video and remember guys this is graphic um if you have children I suggest that you take the children outside or in their rooms because this is this video may find some viewers disturbing viewer discretion is is advised so here's the video and I'm gonna continue the rest of my commentary activates his dash cam and at that point audio can be heard Hands, hands. Send me some units, I got them at gunpoint. Roll your window down. Roll the window down. I mean, the traffic for Young 61. All right, get out. Get out. Get out. I'll explain to you in a second. Get out. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Dude, get out of the car. Get out of the car. He's refusing to get out of the car. Dude, get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car, dude. Just hold the car. Get out of the car. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. I need you to see anything. Go move. Go move. Stay where you're at. Okay. Stay where you're at. Hey, can I get out? He's driving. Can I get out? I need out? units. I need units. Hey! Hush. Hey, can I jump out? Get out. Get out. Get out. Where do you get people? Come over here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get on the ground for him. He has a pistol in here. He, she out. said he's got a gun. This the pastor's telling me he's still got a gun. He just picked me up. Okay. I swear to God. I'm putting you in class, right? Okay. That's fine. Stay back. Stay back. Put your left hand up. Put your left hand up. Information. The driver has been struck. He still has a gun. I fired multiple times. I'm not going to worry. I know. I know. I just got out of there. We're about to, hey, if you can keep them back for me. We got a lot of people coming. You hit my knee. Sorry. God, my knee. I just got oh, do you have anything on you, huh? No, sir. Okay, stand up for me. Can you get my jacket? He's driver's seat. I, I shot. Hi. I shot. Get in. Yeah, he hit me. He hit me. He hit me. I shot. I shot him multiple times. I'm okay. I'm okay. I think he just sprained or something. I was over at the line. Oh man, you. Get up! 
Yes, 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 hold on. Just stop, yes, sir. Those looks been shot, didn't you? Hey, she said he's got a gun. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Put your left hand up! Put your left hand up! Put your left hand up! Now! Put your left hand up! Put your left hand up! Put your left hand up! Put your left hand up, sir! 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 Put your left hand up! I don't have eyes on his left hand right now. He, he might be 10-7 right now, but we need to pull him out of the car for him. Got him covered. I got him covered. Hey, got me covered. I, I, I got everyone covered. What? Yeah. I don't know where his gun is at, but he has a gun. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that 
is the videos of the incident what happened with Bradley Blackshaw. Um, Bradley Blackshire, a 30-year-old man, was shot and killed by police. Now, the police claim that they received uh, a call that he stole a car. Um, and then this is what this is what the situation has been started. They said that he stole in the car. Um, the family of um, Bradley Bl Blackshire said that he didn't realize that the car was stolen in the first place. He was borrowed from a friend. But the thing of it is, the truth of the matter is, is that when this incident happened, you know, I mean, and then the officer said, get out of the car, get out of the car. And Bradley refuses to get out of the car. Now, the wo the woman who was there, her name is Desiree Clark. She was 20 years old. She was the passenger of, 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 of the car she was in when the incident happened. Now, she told two multiple stories. Now, the first story she told to the police, you heard what the officer was saying on the da all two dash cams. She said that he had a gun, right? And the officer said, hey, he got a gun. He had a gun and a gun. And it turns out that he didn't, there's no gun in the vehicle at all. And then later on that night, she explained to his family, she explained to his family and friends what really happened. That the officer, you know, told him to get out of the car. Um, Bradley said that he's, he, what, what did I do? I, he didn't do anything wrong. Why should I get out of the car? Um, and then she also explains that officers told him, you know, multiple times to get out of the car. And he, he said, I'm not getting out of the car. So he, so what happened was he's, he's planning on drove, I mean, just try to drive off. And, and they claiming that he struck the officer. And we're going to get to that story in a second as well. But they said that, you know, he they, he struck an officer. So the officer didn't have a choice but to sh shoot this guy multiple times, killing him. Now, the lawyer of Bradley Blackshire, the, and, um, the, the lawyer of, uh, um, the law, I'm sorry, the lawyer of Bradley Blackshire's family, they said that, his, nothing's wrong with his knee, you know, and they said that the officer put his put himself in harm's way of tried to get um, Bradley to stop the vehicle. That's what the attorney said. They said that you know he, the officer put himself to um, try to do what he can to stop the vehicle from even taking off. But the thing of it is, he said he heard on the dash cam he hurt his knee, he hurt his knee. But the lawyer said that he's fine. He, his knee wasn't even injured at all. He wasn't even struck. So let's let, let's move on to that story. Another story was, and I think they're always bringing up his past, um, that he has a criminal record. We already know that you know when you when a person was shot and killed by police, they're always going to bring up your criminal record and your past. So let's move on from that. So, like I said, the girl, the 20-year-old girl, Desiree Clark, she basically, you know, told the officer he had a gun, but there really isn't no gun at all. There's no gun in a car or anything like that. So he was basically unarmed. He was really killed. Another unarmed black man shot and killed by police, LRPD. So when that happened, there's protests going on in, in my hometown, in the state capitol as well. But um, protesting that... I mean, the Black Lives Matter, everybody was there. It was really a sad situation. But Bradley Blackshire, his family and the, his family's attorney, both, they did say that there is no gun. They did say that he has no idea that Bradley was in a stolen car because, like I said, he was just barring, barring his friend's car. So all this stuff is happening, ladies and gentlemen, and... The thing of it is, is that it happened so fast. And then they're going to say that, you know, Starks is, of course, he um, he is basically, um, during the investigation, was on paid administrative leave, whatever. So the reality is, is that she said it was a gun. Then she told her, she told Bradley's family and friends that, that is no, there was no gun. And, 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 and the evidence proved there was no gun in the car. There has never been no gun in the car. He was just basically, he didn't have no idea that he was barring 
um, he was borrowing his friend's car, but he had no idea that the car was indeed stolen or was reported stolen. So that's what's going on with the um, with the Bradley Blackshire case. My thoughts and prayers goes to um, Bradley's family. Um, um, it was un it really ha it happened two months ago, but then it started out talking about it now, and I'm talking about it because it happened. In, that's my hometown. That's where I was born and raised. But I, I'm, I always talk about cases like this. But the reality the reality is, ladies and gentlemen, is that. A 30-year-old brother been murdered by LRPD, by Little Rock Police. And they said it had a gun. There is no gun in the car. And the thing of it is that, you know, basically you heard stories that police told suspects to get out of the car and they refused to get out of the car. In this case, he, he, he was shot. I mean, Bradley was shot multiple times, killing him. So this is this is the basically and this for the first time in my life, you know, shout out to Atlanta Black Star for, you know, sending a video of the de two dash cam videos and two like two surveillance videos that captured the incident. And so, again, like I said, this is just crazy. And the girl, um, Des Desiree Clark. She was a prostitute. Now, they're they going to bring her you know, she's been caught prostituting. And then when she was out of jail, that's when, quote unquote, um, Bradley um, Blackshire picked her up. And then the, the thing of it is that he had no idea that the car was stolen. And then police claiming that they received a tip that the car was indeed stolen. So the thing, the reality is, ladies and gentlemen, is that we have an, an unarmed black man being murdered and police officer, Officer Stark, wasn't hurt. His, his knee wasn't even hurt. He wasn't hurt his knees. He was fine. But he put himself in harm's way trying to stop him from even, you know, leave, leave the premises. That's exactly what it was. So leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Like, click, subscribe, and remember to click the notification bell for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lion's Den signing off. Deuces.